Picture this, you're scrolling through social media, and BAM! A stunning animated video grabs your attention. You're thinking, wow, I wish I could make something like that. Guess what? You absolutely can. Stick with me, and by the end of this video, you'll have the tricks up your sleeve to create eye-catching animations that'll leave your audience wanting more. Today, I'm spilling the beans on three secret animation techniques you can use right inside Canva. No fancy software needed. We'll kick things off with a super simple animation method, perfect for beginners. We'll head over to Canva, create a new video project, and start adding pages. Think of these pages like scenes in your animation. You can use these tips for any kind of video, from promoting your business to even starting a faceless YouTube channel. To keep things fun, we'll create a short video about a person's day. Are you ready to unleash your inner animator? Let's dive in. All right, let's bring our scene to life. First, we'll head over to the Elements tab and search for City. We'll switch over to the Graphics section and pick a cityscape that catches our eye. This will set the stage for our animation. Drag the edges to make sure it fits perfectly. Next, let's introduce our main character, a walking figure. Back to Elements. This time we'll search for walking. Canva has a treasure trove of animated graphics, so feel free to pick one that suits your style. Once you've found the perfect walker, adjust the size and place them at their starting point. Now comes the fun part, making them move. If you're a Canva Pro, you're probably familiar with the animation feature. If not, no worries, I'll guide you through it. Click on Animate, and then select the little B icon. Now click on your character, and watch the magic happen. You can choose how you want them to move. Hold your mouse down, and simply drag the image in the direction you want them to go. I'm going to have my character stroll from left to right. You can also fine tune the animation by choosing between smooth or steady movement styles. I'm going with steady for a more deliberate walk. You can even adjust the speed to match the pace you're looking for. You can also play with the speed making it as fast or as slow as necessary. Once you're happy with the animation, hit done. We've just taken our first step into the world of animation. Let's take our animation skills up a notch. This time, we'll make the background move along with our character, creating a more dynamic scene. To keep our story flowing, we'll stick with the same character. For the background, let's explore elements and find a suitable image. I'm going with this one. Remember to position it at the back so our character stays in the spotlight. Now adjust it to fit the frame. Here's where things get interesting. We need to drag our background image to give us some extra space to play with during the animation. Pay close attention to the video as we go through this step. Next, position your main character where you want them to start. Now let's click Animate and select the trusty B icon again. This time, Make sure you click on the background, not the character. Hold the button down and drag the background in the direction you want it to move. Voila! Our character is now walking against a moving backdrop. I'm going to choose steady for the movement style and leave the speed as is. Once you're happy with the movement, click done. Ready for the next scene? Let's head back to elements and search for city. We'll use this city road image. Perfect. This one looks great. Adjust its size and position. And to add some excitement, let's throw in an animated car. This one looks great. And since we want it moving in the opposite direction, let's flip it horizontally. Reposition the car on the second image to make it look like it has traveled a distance. We're building up our animation skills one scene at a time. Here's where the real magic happens. Now, we're going to try a different animation trick. I will add a new page, then select a background with a movie theater. After that, I will drag the background image and then, adding transition. Hover over the space between your two scenes and click on the transition icon. Canva offers a variety of cool transitions, so pick one that suits your vibe. I'm going with match and move, and extending the duration to 3 seconds for a smooth effect. Since you've stuck with me this far, I'll share a bonus tip to take your animation to the next level. Bring your main character back into the scene and position them behind the car. To make this work seamlessly, we'll create a transparent rectangle shape and place it over the character. Then, group the rectangle and the character together using the Layers panel. Now, with your character hidden behind the car, click on the three dots and select Duplicate. Head back to the Layers panel and select the character. It's time to animate again. Click on the B icon, then click and drag your character to their final position. Choose Steady for the movement style. We're almost there. Let's add a final touch by inserting a transition between our last two scenes. Click on the transition icon and pick your favorite. I'm going with this one. And there you have it, a captivating animated video created entirely in Canva. The sun beat down as Maya, 25, navigated the bustling Kolkata streets. Her destination? The cinema. After a short walk, she hailed a yellow cab. Anticipation building? The cool air inside was a welcome relief as the city whizzed by 
taking her closer to an afternoon of cinematic escape. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more creative tips and tricks. Until next time, happy animating.